Hi, my name is Jeff Williams. I'm the UDOT Weather Operations Manager, and this is Talking Orange. So what they're doing is they're providing transportation forecasts to the public and to the snow plows. And so they're giving us specific information about what this storm is going to do to the pavement and concrete. We have two state meteorologists, eight contract meteorologists with WeatherNet. All of us have uh, bachelor's degrees or higher in meteorology. The focus though for the concerns for the wind will last about a half hour. Every shed out there we're giving a forecast twice a day that's text-based and it's telling them specifically what's going to happen to the road. So what we're trying to figure out is um, if it's going to rain before the snowstorm comes, we'll, we'll advise that you shouldn't be using pre-treatment in the storm because it's just going to wash off the road and won't do much good anyways. If the storm's going to come in all the snow, it's, it's very wise to try to pre-treat if you can. And we're also looking and considering road temperatures because the colder the road is, the, the, the strategies for chemical treatments have to change. So usually our forecasters use what we call either a top-down forecasting approach or what we call a forecast funnel. This is where we start with kind of a very wide picture of what's going on with the weather pattern. We'll actually look at like the entire northern hemisphere to see what kind of storm systems are going on across the, the different oceans, both the Pacific and the Atlantic, see how those are going to affect us. We then kind of start narrowing it down as part of that funnel to see what's going on in our kind of our western region of the United States and then what's going on in Utah. And eventually we get down to kind of what's going on within the state, the very local microclimates that we see around the state. Uh, you know, for example, we obviously know that the cottonwoods and parleys act very different than we see in the Salt Lake Valley. So we kind of really delve into what's going on exactly in those localized areas. WeatherNet provides two, two forecasts for UDOT because we usually um, have the maintenance forecast. But there is also another side, the public side, that we uh, put, out, put out for UDOT. Um, and what is essentially taken into account is what we think the overall end impact to the road is gonna be to the traveling public. Snow has developed over western Utah and will become heavy at times across mountains, canyons, and valleys north and east of Salt Lake City. One of the other unique aspects of all this is we have uh, briefings with the National Weather Service before every single winter event to make sure that their products and UDOT's products to the public are coordinated together so that way we are not confusing the public in the overall goal of hoping to get people changing travel times or essentially people making the right decisions on when they should or shouldn't travel. So we have about 102 ROWIS stations, that's Road Weather Information System across the state. And those stations are, have approximately about 10 to 12 weather sensors on those. And some of those are inside the road, some of them are sensing road temperature, road condition, road grip. And they're giving us a lot of information back to the forecasters about how, how we can best forecast the storm. They're giving information to the cloud drivers about what's currently going on in the storm. Uh, and also they can look back at the information and see how, how was their mitigation efforts, how successful was that mitigation efforts. Snow and ice performance measure uh, is used on most of our hours across the state. We take all the weather conditions that it measures and we compare that to what the road condition is measuring from one of the, our non-invasive road sensors and compare those to see how well the plows are doing uh, across the state at those locations. And with all that information, they can get an idea of uh, resource management in the future, how they're doing during the storm, do they need uh, plows to help them in other parts of the state. Uh, and all this information is available to uh, plow crews, area supervisors, so that they can effectively make the best decision during the storm. We're proud of the unique program we have in, in UDOT. Um, not a lot of other states in the, in the country have a program like this. And we really feel that uh, the services that we can provide UDOT can be beneficial to all operations. So if there's an operations out there that could, uh, could utilize this information, by all means get a hold of us. We're happy to help in any way we can in terms of the weather impacts. You need to keep an eye on your inboxes for future briefings once we get some actual specific details on further storms beginning maybe this weekend or early next week. As Carlos would say, thank you for all you do. Be safe out there. Buckle up. Put your phones down. And you keep Utah moving. I gotta think about this. No limit. I gotta say exactly what I wanna say. <laughs>